Good morning, y'all. It is Monday. Why won't this come into focus? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong, fellow vloggers? Why can't I get this little baby in focus? There we go. Sort of. This is a leopard gecko. So this is Brangelina. And just a funny quick story before we start our day. It's 9 o'clock Monday. Is, so I've had this little guy for about three years. And I got these two guys as a gift. And I had a pair of male and females. And I named them Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Obviously very good names for like leopard geckos. They were a pair. They were cute. And within a matter of like three days, one of them died. Uh, leopard geckos are surprisingly hard to keep alive, I've learned. And so anyway, one of them died, but I didn't know if it was Brad Pitt or Angelina Jolie that died. So I actually just combined the names into Brangelina. And this is Brangelina. Brangelina is about three years old. Leopard geckos are pretty boring, guys. And a lot of people are probably going to get mad that I said that because they're cute. They don't really do much. You know, they're not as active as my other guys. But yes, they are cute. So that's Brangelina. Anyway, it's Monday. Let's put Brangelina back here, and let's flip this around so you can see my, my ugly morning mug. Got a couple zits coming in, not very happy about it. I'm 37 years old, and I don't really get zits anymore, so I don't know what's going on that I've got these goddamn zits on my face. You gotta shoot videos today, and I'm vlogging with these things. Look a little sleepy. Had a nice beach day yesterday. Um, but, hey, the show must go on, right? Got some cool stuff going on. My partner, Jared Wheat, is in town. Jared Wheat owns high-tech pharmaceuticals, amongst a, a bunch of other things. Very badass, powerful dude. Uh, we also have little Sammy B. Fit, Sammy Bornstein in town, my little young bikini competitor. She, she turned pro at like 18 or 19. You guys get to see some stuff with her. And we're just gonna show you a typical Monday, but I have to get my ass moving here. I gotta get in the shower. We're having breakfast with Jared at another Broken Egg Cafe. Very, very good breakfast spot. And we're vlogging. We're here at another Broken Egg Cafe. This place is awesome. I'm not going to blast everybody with the camera just yet because I don't know who wants to be on camera and who doesn't. So we'll wait. We'll pop the question first. Don't well, like bugging everybody with that. So we'll be back. Show you what I mean for breakfast. All right, I know I've screwed up the vlog a lot. You guys have come to realize I'm not that good at vlogging, but uh, I turned my camera off when I went into the restaurant because I didn't want to just blast Jared in the face with the camera. Some people can't handle that. And if there's anybody who I don't feel like bothering today, it's Jared. Um, but the problem is I actually have not turned it back on since then. So I just got back from trainer space. Did a, oh, you want to hear this? I'm actually going to vlog this, by the way. I want you guys to hear this story. So the girl who works the desk at trainer space comes over to me and goes, hey, you know, just want to let you know, like Trish wanted me to make sure you guys know to please put everything back when you're done using it. Now, if there's one thing I'm awesome at, it's putting my stuff back. And I hate when I go to gyms and people don't put their stuff back. In fact, I actually often put other people's stuff back because I've worked in gyms my whole life. And so I was like, what kind of blasphemous stuff is this girl dropping on me right now? And I found out that one thing that we had used, this platform, they actually moved it, but they didn't put it all the way back. So I was like, we put everything back. And then I found out that we didn't. And she was like, Trish actually said that you're really, really good about stuff like that. I just want to make sure you know. I was like, thank you. I apologize. That'll never happen again. I actually just wasn't paying attention that last time. All the dumbbells are back. Everything's back. I said, but you should also tell Trish, because I haven't got to tell her yet, that this video that I'm doing today is very, very good for the business here. And she's the only person that has ever charged me for a video in my entire life. And with Blackstone Labs and the monstrous following that, that she has, she's getting a lot more out of this video than I am. And I am pretty surprised that I got billed for this again. And she told me which card she should run it on when I got in. So when you go back over there, tell her that we're putting our stuff back. And we'd also like to discuss getting our videos shot for free because everyone else does it. So people that go to trainer space, come on, talk to the big boss. Maybe I'll just have to go to the top myself. Um, first time ever in any gym. Usually people are happy to have Blacks and Labs shooting videos in there. It's good publicity. I was like, my, not going to be arrogant, but I was like, my page has more followers than your entire gym membership together. So it's good for me to be here. Let's leave it at that. Anyway, we did a hard workout already. I was yeah. supposed to vlog at the beginning of it. I screwed that up. But I'm, I'm making up for it now. Now we're going to do a podcast. What did we train today? We trained legs. Primarily booty. How much weight have you gained since you've been on stage? 20 pounds. Looks like you gained all 20 of it in your booty, 10 on each side. Pretty impressive. Call center's working hard. Did you guys eat already? You ate already? Why not? 
eating oatmeal. Okay, hey. <laughs> Damn, a girl that's not ready to eat. Usually they're like, who's gonna eat? All right, well, let's get into this, um, into this podcast action. The real question is, can we go eat mac and cheese? I'm always going to eat some mac and cheese. I heart mac and cheese to the people in the vlog world that haven't been there yet. You're really missing out if you haven't. Go find the nearest I heart mac and cheese and just enjoy it. This is how good I heart mac and cheese is. First of all, get the best of both worlds. It's so good that I went to dinner last night with Josh and his girl. We were at Hibachi. We were at Hibachi. And while they were waiting, and I was also waiting for the food to come, I left. They were wondering where I was going. And I went to iHeart Mac and Cheese, and I brought iHeart Mac and Cheese back to the Hibachi place and ate it while I was waiting for the Hibachi. That's how good it is. I thought you were getting something to go to bring home for after Hibachi, <laughs> and then you just started eating it at the table. It was my appetizer. Happens. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> this is incredible. How good was it? But I'm actually glad that you brought that, because then I ended up eating a little bit less of my rolls, which I got to bring home and then eat late night last night when I was doing Legion. So it worked out really good for us because I'm trying to drop and lose a little bit for the Olympia, so I only ate half of my best of both worlds. He wants to, to mass up for the Olympia, so, I, so I added on to what he was eating at Hibachi. Hell yeah. It's good that's good friends. Do it. That's that strategy right there. <laughs> Mandatory. <laughs> Mandatory, my friend. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go do some podcast stuff. It's 5 o'clock. I'm getting ready to leave the office. Oh, sorry, Samson. I mean to wake you, but you were laying on your own poop, which Clay's job is to clean when he sees this vlog. Sorry, Samson, but I'm kind of happy that you, I woke you from your own poop, so let's get that cleaned out of here. And that's it. I know I sucked ass on this vlog today, guys. I'll step it up. All right, guys, we are at Paralyze, and I... I'm gonna leave the camera in the car. I'm so bloated today. I ate a lot of bad shit yesterday, I gotta be honest with you. I'm sluggish. Um, most of shoulders is my easiest day with all my injuries. There's only like four exercises I can do. Make the most of them, and then we're gonna head over to cryotherapy. And I will search up to Anthony. My back's been bugging me a lot too. So, second gym of the day, first workout. And uh, I think I'll get out of here in 30 minutes or so. We'll see. Gotta try to chuck some water though. I'm very behind on my water. That's it. Nothing exciting today. All right, so I know I fucked up this vlog a lot today, so I'm just spicing it up for you guys. Went to Pure Life Train, went to Pure Greens, got some food over there. Um, stopped at the Cava Bar, got my tea. So this is Russell, he's extremely mean. I'm cleaning out the tanks in here. Um, I got everybody in the shower, but I'm basically moving him outside. So, one of my enclosures is now for him. Hold on. Okay, chill out, chill out, chill out. He is just very mean, he's the meanest reptile I have. This is a Mexican spiny tail. Um, he's a banana, pectinata. He basically has vitiligo. Um, really cool, a little more rare. Not, uh, not, not super rare, but more rare than a regular spiny tail. He's very, very mean. And he wants to bite me. So Here, let me so get the door. to deal with. Then I'm actually gonna move him into the outdoor enclosure, which will make him more, should be more at home for him out there. He's just not doing well inside, the nice ones inside. Um, I actually don't know how he's gonna do, but this particular enclosure, okay. This particular enclosure is, is vacant. So. Why is it vacant? Say hi, Russell. Ooh. <laughs> Come on. Watch this. He does not like me. Shedding a little bit. All right, so let's get him out of here. Go on, buddy. <laughs> Hurt my back, it's really, really throbbing right now, so. Hopefully the shower on the inside that we're going to go check out next is not overflowing. That's where everybody's taking a shower. Here's your new home, buddy. Don't be a dick. You have this whole fancy, fancy enclosure to yourself. He's probably going to take off when I put him down. So, let's see. Okay. All right. Sorry about that, buddy, but you're fucking mean as hell. <laughs> and he's a biter, and he bites hard. That's why I have these special gloves on. It's your new home. Russell. A little over three years old, had him a while. Well, we'll see how he does. I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys updates on how he's doing. You come inside for a second. So he just dive bombed out of his fancy enclosure in here. I had to move all these out, cleaning out everything in here. It's a freaking nightmare. Uh, okay, this is not overflowing yet, which is good. I was risking that in here. So, just a bunch of potatoes in the bath. 
and a giant Savannah monitor. Chilling, 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 let them soak a little bit. So they're getting a nice hot bath in here, which is good for their digestion and good for their skin. And uh, we're going to clean out all these things. So, be back in a little bit. Peace out, guys. This is Savannah, my big monitor. All fresh and clean. Took a nice shower. I actually don't need the gloves for Savannah. Savannah's super gentle. I love this baby. <laughs> She's almost three years old. It's grown so fast, I got it at a hatchling this big. And she eats, or he eats actually. I thought it was a little girl when I first got him, but it's a boy, he's got a penis. Oh, <laughs> All right, so Savannah, you got a nice fresh clean house. And Lindsay Lohan is going to go up here. Oh. Lindsay Lohan Just being nice. is a five crotch. <laughs> well, Lindsay Lohan is also a male, actually. So I thought I had all these little girls and those little boys. Come on. This is a red pagu. Almost three years old also. About a little over two. Now for the meanest, well, the meanest is out here. So it's Stamper. He's actually only a little over a year. So the people who follow me close will remember Doug Stamper had a weight issue. Here, I got it. He was very, very fat. <laughs> He's just very skittish. So this is a titanium pigeon. Very pretty though. He had a nice poop on me that's all over me. So he was very fat, but now he's skinny. Look at his stomach. And now my pair, these are from Carlos, Texas, and my boy. So the people who follow me close will remember Doug Stamper had a weight issue. Here, I got it. He was very, very fat. <laughs> he's just very skittish. So this is a titanium video. Very pretty though. He had a nice poop on me, that's all over me. So he was very fat, but now he's skinny. Look at his stomach. And now my pair, these are from Carlos, Texas, Rui, and my boy. Okay. So this is a male and female pair. Eventually they'll breed. So this is the male, Frank Underwood, and this is the female, Claire Underwood. They're really, really well behaved. Let me see them. Big shout out to Carlos and Maria for doing such a good job with them. Super easy to handle. These are really, really awesome. So these are <laughs> giant purple monsters. You see the coloring is a little different. Very, very beautiful. She has like a really pretty, the way the two stripes go down her back. They're so cute. Love it. <laughs> You know, everyone has nice clean houses now. Look at Savannah making a mess for this room. You know, you want to see some real savage shit? Because mm. I have a couple of mice that I can feed them. Feed them some live mice. I don't do this often because I don't want to teach them to kill, but. It is good for them, the bones and everything else that are in there, so. Savagery, this is not. Savage. If your kids are watching, have them turn this off now. Bye. Oh my God. That's it for the vlog for now. I'm gonna go to bed soon. I'm gonna eat my pure greens and shower and it be less gross. Tink, tink, no! God fucking damn it. <laughs> Sorry, my language. <laughs> I How did you take outside? No, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. Come here. God damn it. <laughs> ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Jack, cool them out. Come on. You're not supposed to be out of here. You're just stressing me out. Jack, cool them out. <laughs>
Tony, no, Tater, inside. Guys. God damn it, I hope Tony's not out here. It probably is because they do everything together.